Hello there, my name is Wiki and Aron. welcome back for another round of Seven Days to Die. So last time we, um, I, I just kind of explained different things about the game. Um, so this time I'm going to do more of actually just playing and doing, like, things that I need to do. Um, some base building type stuff. So, like, uh... These, some of these things, like this right here, this is, uh, cement, um, which I had to make and then use to upgrade it from wood. This is, like, second level wood upgrade, and then it goes to cobblestone, and then it goes to the cement. So I'm gonna, I don't know if I have any more cement left, because, like, a whole bunch of this is cement now, and it takes a bit to make that cement. My cement mixer is in my kitchen. Don't judge me. It's just in my kitchen. Because that's where I could put it. Or you know what I could do. Oh, I need to talk to a talk to the trader. <laughs> I could go and try and retrieve my bike. Because before I tried to play this the last time. I went and, um, I was riding my bike, my bike's right there, um, and I died. I died over here where the red flag is. I marked that because that's like a, a military base and it's got, like, it's surrounded by landmines and stuff and I accidentally stepped on one. But it's in the cold area, which sucks. So I'm gonna try and get over there. Without freezing to death. Takes a little bit to freeze to death, though, so what's that? Oh, it's a body, okay. For some reason, the bodies have been taking a little bit longer to disappear than usual. Yeah, that was a wolf that was chasing me down that I took out. I'm gonna see if I can get my bike back because the bike was useful. It's not that laggy, but at least the bike isn't. I know some of the other vehicles are though, when you try and ride them. You don't really... It's not necessarily like bungeeing, I don't really bungee everywhere. Occasionally you might, but... It's just if you drive them really fast, or at least I have that issue. I know some other people don't have that issue, but I do. Or I might not, I mean. Since playing this new update, I have not gotten to the point of having any of the other vehicles yet. I'm gonna get... What I'm gonna do is make it so that... Um, the easiest way for me to cross is, uh, I want to make it just so I have the most direct path, so I've got to go along the, the river here and basically just check it every once in a while. So, what I did for, um... When it comes to Horde Knights, what I do is, uh, that bridge over there, um, it's the same make as the bridge over here, and I'll show you real quick when I get over here. And I mean when it gets to Horde Knight, um, I'm trying to remember when the last Horde Knight was, and I don't remember. Um, they, they added something since the, like, first time I started playing it. First time I started playing it, you just test had to rely on counting in sevens but now it's um every day every night that's a horde night the the day number there up at the top will turn red so yeah this is how the these bridges are set up and what i basically did was i took and made a a bunch of blocks and laid them out inside these gaps and then i'm gonna build on top of that probably build like a house or something on top of that because like the first time Sean and I played this together that's how we we lived 
The sucky thing about it, though, is I'd have to build more support under it. Because if the zombies knock down to a certain point, they can just wipe out the, the bridge. The bridge will start collapsing. It's not like Minecraft where it'll, some things will stay open. That's a vacation on zombie. When I was mentioning in the last one how there were the different bigger kinds of zombies, that's one of the bigger zombies. It's the vacationer. I'm just, I'm just kind of like Skyrim running right now. <laughs> running as fast as I can so I don't slide down the mountain. I mean, I'll need to go down there at some point anyways. It's probably better if I just do that now. You don't want to drop down things like that too fast because you can break limbs. You can, I've, you break your legs and stuff and then you, like if it's left untreated for a while, it, it will heal on its own, but like you can make splints and stuff like that to cut the healing time down in like half or down to like a quarter of it or whatever. I don't want to be in the water yet, because then the minute I step into the water, it's probably going to be like you're cold. Because the water along the, the cold zones are like freezing cold, so. I did not need to do that. I swear, I keep my health and stuff up as much as possible so that my, um, what is that? I don't know what that thing is. <laughs> that thing on my chest. Yeah, and my, my guy, if you look, he's just like this weird amalgamation of, of different things. I don't even have pants on. That's what sucks. If I had pants on, I'd probably be better. I probably wouldn't be as cold. Oh yeah, and in here, um, in the cold zone, if I can, if I'm pretty sure that's one of them, that's a lumberjack zombie. And they're annoying. <laughs> There's a wolf. <laughs> He's just angry. I'm an angry boy. Oh wait, that's not a wolf. <laughs> I've got I get <laughs> Oh, he's coming to get me. Hey. No. No. <laughs> I don't think they 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 don't drown. There I've played zombie games in the past where the zombies can drown. This is not one of them though. I'm trying to remember what game that I've played in the past that it was that had that zombies could drown. I think this is probably my best option as far as paths go. wasn't exactly the minute I jumped in, but when I hop over here, it's definitely going to be like you're cold. Oh, and it's snowing. Or maybe not. It just kind of looks like it's snowing. I guess it's more windy than it is snowing. Ah, that's what I should have done. wonder if I still can. I don't know what it takes to make a torch. Hello, bunny rabbit. I don't remember what it takes, but I'm gonna make one. That surprisingly loud crash. I don't think it draws any zombies, really. It's the funny thing. Wooden club. 
animal fat. That's what it takes. Where'd, where'd that rabbit go? He's probably gone by now, isn't he? Probably. So you get animal fat from every animal. Probably wouldn't get much, though, from the rabbits since they're so small. Be better for, like, boars and stuff. That's a, another set of footsteps that are not my own. And it's because it's a zombie, okay. Well, I can go. This should be cleared out if I remember. Right. Then all I should have to do is walk along this road. Sounds like there's a zombie in there. Oh, there he is. Hi, friend. Yes, my shotgun is silenced. Oh, there's one of them. The crawly zombies. They, like, crawl and then they, like, pounce at you. They're annoying. And it's just because sometimes you don't see them coming, so they're just, like, there. All of a sudden, I can get some stuff from this guy. Hey, my bike! Where'd that crawly zombie go? There he is. See you. Doo -doo. That's the new day indicator sign, like, chime. Because for some reason this game's like 4 a.m. That's prime, like, daytime, I guess. Eh. I won't get any cloth fragments from it, though. Ooh, I think it said I needed three, didn't it? Oh, no, just one. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go over here. Go in this house. Maybe there's, like, a piece of furniture or something that I can destroy. That should give me cloth. Yeah, okay. Oh, my God. I'm gonna go back over to this, uh... This military base over here just because I can because there should there's there's generally pretty good stuff in the military bases. Maybe it'll have a schematic for the marksman rifle that I have. Cuz I can use that. I just got to remember my bike. <laughs> the only one of its kind in the apocalypse. Oh, and you'll, we'll get to, we'll get to see more military zombies. <laughs> oh, this is a different military complex. Hello, sir. So just gotta watch out for the landmines. See, there's landmines. But they're useful, though. The, the landmines are useful. Because then I can drag these guys out over them. <laughs> and they'll blow them up for me. <laughs> he got up when that other guy was falling down so he technically climbed up on top of him I 
This game can be a little bit buggy in that sense sometimes, but it's funny. Interesting. Yeah, this is one I haven't seen before. Ooh. I don't technically need that, but I'll take it anyway. Like, you have to have certain... Oh, hey. Burnout zombies. what I needed, but I'll take them. Because I will sell these back. Oh, hello, gentlemen. I want to try and bring them out over the mines. Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. He's mad. He's mad. Ooh. You were closer than I thought you were. I was so confused. Why was he not going down? What are you special about, you sir? Like, look at that. You had all that crap coming off of him. What made him so special? Yes, I know I'm cold. Oh, please have a motor. Oh, dang it. I need more motors. Which I can get by, like, destroying cars and stuff. Oh, hello, lady. Lady. Oh, jeez. Come on out here, friends. Let's play in the snow. Oh, there's a lot of you. Tink. One is... Yeah, I was like, one is bound to step on one of those. I can deal with a hazmat guy. Boop. Boop. Good thing I picked up a whole bunch of food. This is a different type of uh, military camp. I have not seen this one before. Ooh. Coldness also, like, affects things like your, um, warmth and stuff. Mm. So you get colder if you're not filled up. Oh, ooh, 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 I'm on fire. Okay. Am I still on fire? No. I'm lucky I'm in a cold area. Boxes generally have good stuff in them. I can at least sell them back to the guys, traders. Oh, please. Oh, damn. I normally play this game, um, 
Like, if I'm just playing this by myself, I'll play it on silent. I'll basically just have this game silent, and then I'll be watching, like, a TV show or something. Yes, yes, game. That was sudden. <laughs> the four barrels of gasoline had less in it than the one did. I'll look around the trench here because there's normally an ammo box hit hiding in the, the trench areas. There might not the, 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 the one this weird camp. Ooh, there's a stash of them. to bring out the torch. Man, all the torch does is it warms you up. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> oh, I haven't gone up in this tower yet. Walking, oh, that's why that's crashed. Hello, Good. sir. Goodbye, sir. Huh. Okay, I don't want to just get rid of those because those are useless. Run back to my bike. And then get home. Actually, no. I'm gonna get back to my bike and then I'll ride to the um, trader. Because that's something I can do right now. Okay, funny thing is, so it told me I needed cloth and animal fat, you know, of course, fat burns, um, and it burns really well, um, but, like, you look at it, what is the torch made out of? A stick, and then, <laughs> a <laughs> rope, a piece of rope, I've been lied to, I don't think there's actual rope, though, in this game, like, just general rope. I think there used to be, and you like made it out of plant fibers, but I don't know if there's rope anymore. I don't know why, oh I guess. I'm discovering new sounds because I'm like, I don't remember the bike ever making the, these noises. God, if your bike's making these noises, you need to, like, check your bike out because I feel like it shouldn't be making these noises. Do, 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 do. I just coast down this hill. Right back into the worm area. Yeah. Lovely. Um, what is this? This is, uh, the world is, I think it's the world or town or whatever area is called Navisgain. I don't know why it's named that. It's just something that's stupid and interesting. It's fun. It's nice playing this by yourself, yeah, but it's also really nice playing this with friends because... 
Um, you never know when, like, you're gonna, hey, I'm gonna go explore this thing, and you're gonna walk in, and there's just gonna be a million and one zombies. <laughs> That's also why there's, like, rocket launchers and stuff, too, that you can use. Also, back there was, um, when the game, like, first came out, I don't, or when I first started playing it, um, there was only occasional names for different stores and stuff, um, you had, you didn't have, like, this, this wasn't a thing, the bear den wasn't a thing, all these buildings existed, but they didn't have names. You had, um, Shamway Foods, uh, crack -a book uh, and shot, Shotgun Messiah, and, um, there's one more, there's a, like, just general weird construction store, ah! I don't remember what it is. Fixing things, I think. I think it's, I think it's called Fixing Things. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Up here's the, this is the, the trader stand. Not really a stand, it's a freaking fortress. Great thing about the, the trader's areas, so, oh well no, it started off as, um, the trader's stands all started off as you would walk into them and, um, zombies could not get in here. So you could leave that door open or whatever, but zombies could not get in here. This is the only place that I cannot, um, gratitude, friend. like, uh, what is it? I can't, um, break anything in here. God, that's a jarring noise. That's a very jarring noise. Um, will you buy this? Yes, he will. He buys basically everything. Thanks See, for shopping here. He's Come got all again. these different jobs. Like, I can go clear zombies out. I could like really either. use some braid. I like yeah, this one, this trader's all nice and stuff. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of different things. Well, I can't sleep here because that's his bed. Um... It used to be that each one of these, like, the workbench, the cement mixer, all those things worked. Um, these, the, these are more for, like, if you're playing online with a, on, like, a server. So that people can come in there and buy your things. Buy things that you want to get rid of. Okay, I know where this, this area is that he's wanting me to go to. I tend not to do the buried supplies ones because the buried supplies ones are just, it takes forever because it only gives you to a general area of this is where the supplies are supposed to be um, because there's not only like buried supplies as in, hey, um, go to this area and like there should maybe be um, supplies here. It's like, well, no, there's, there's not only the g go get a job and then go fetch the buried supplies or whatever. There's also, uh, like, treasure maps that have supplies, or not really supplies, the treasure maps never really have uh, supplies. They just more have valuables that you can sell. It's not where I think this is. Oh, it's on the other side. Okay. Well, I certainly hope it's... Oh, okay, there's a bridge. That's not a military stand. That's just a military outpost. That's just kind of a little outpost. Oh, it's over there. Okay.
Rawr, two, two. Yeah. Damn, zombies in this area. <laughs> I wasn't able to find them the other day, the first time that I recorded this, but now they're just everywhere. There is a... I do have a counter. I have a counter, which is, um... Like, when I, when I get off my bike, um, at the area that I need to be, I'll show you what, where it is. But I, I, there's a counter for how many zombies you've killed. I think it's this, this house right up here. That's where I'm going. Hello, twitchy farmer guy. What was that? That was strange. Yeah, it's this house. Where's my exclamation mark? Oh, it's probably around back. I want to take care of that guy. Oh, he ain't getting back up. That's good. There it is. Okay. Uh, so I guess I gotta start in the basement. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, and then... You have these things on the ground, um, occasionally, that you'll see. Um, like this. You step on that. It makes noise. So zombies can hear you and they know you're there then. or something so they're not immediately trying to murder me I don't know why someone put their purse in the shower but and why their shower is downstairs that because like even the freaking cans just explode into little little bits that was weird like I said I'm not used to those sounds there's gotta be a zombie in there there's normally zombies in there oh hello there's normally zombies in the stay with me Oh, hello. Where did you come from, dude? Oh, oh I guess he came out from on the, the porch. Ooh. Level six. I don't like those noises. It feels less like I'm earning something and, like, more like I'm being threatened. <laughs> like, here, here's your victory. Hello? Anyone here? Ah. There's the supply plane. Working stiff, that's what's the other one. I knew there was like another one that had a different name. It's working stiff, it's not whatever I said before. Let me get rid of that, because now I've got a level six one. You can over time get um basically 
get better you either find better equipment or you upgrade the correct things so that you um, can build better tools. Ooh. Like there's a, I just picked up a, a magnum. Magnums are useful. Like freaking hand cannons. Guess I don't need this glue. This egg. Those. <laughs> okay, here's someone. Where is he? Oh. There's still more. Oh, come on. There we go. Wandering horde, I guess. Or it's just to make up for the lack of zombies that there were. Because it did feel like there was an incredible lack of zombies inside this house. Yeah, um... Because I shouldn't be dealing with... Oh, I guess that was just where they spawned in. Wee. Back to the traitor. That was a decent one, because then I didn't have to... Um, didn't go as far as I thought I was going to go. Or rather, it had this, the however far I was going to go, it was just, I didn't need to worry about it too much. It is very hot in my room. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the zombie counter. Yeah, kill count. I'll do that in a minute. I'll get to the crater and then do that. I know it, I, I, I can drive through these areas, these like grassy areas and stuff. Yeah, I mean, you can basically drive anywhere, as long, like, until you get to a certain, like, steepness and hills. It's just, I don't like generally, like, riding through these types of areas because this is how, how my, there's a health bar down there for my bike. It's at 95%. This is, this is how you damage your vehicles. By running them into lots of things repeatedly. Like I'm currently doing. Ooh, what's that over there? Oh, I drove past that already. Oh, and then, um... Like, the... The, the traitor's areas... If they're closed and you go, like, too close to them, you get, like, bounced away from them. You get, like, deterred from them and get, like, teleported somewhere else. And it's, like, not too far away from it, so you don't, like, get bounced back to somewhere that you have no idea where you're at. It's just you're not at directly at that. You get, like, knocked a certain amount of, like, feet back, which is just... An weird interesting thing and that's what he used to do um actually no um if zombies get to the outside of different traders most of the traders have these uh i'll show you them when we get there but they're barbed wire traps around there around the outside of their their stores so the zombies would basically just run into those see those things right there though these they'd just run into those but if they would were to walk through the front door they would like get a few steps inside the like store and they just disappear the zombies would just completely despawn well you're a set for many things you've proved creepy, to be sir. very resourceful 
Here's your pay. And I still sell some stuff back to him. I don't use the spears. I don't really like the spears. Those are a fairly new addition, I think, but I still don't like them. Because they're just kind of like, eh. I don't use a lot of melee weapons, to be honest. And I have a, a box full of them back at home. Um, see if he has anything worthwhile. Grandpa's awesome sauce recipe. Why not? Just because I can. Up, oh, and then I want that. Buy all of his military fiber because you need the. I had them some of them earlier, and I sold some of them earlier. I had the military plates. Um, you need those, and you need. Uh, I think I already know that schematic, so I don't think I need that one. But um, you need those to uh, like you need the plates, and you need the fibers. Or this, the yeah, the fibers to make military grade armor, which I believe is the best armor. In. You too, sir. Pleasure doing man. business with you. I'm gonna read that and then put that down in my hot bar. Some of that. I'm kind of cheating in this game mode. Um. Because you can um, have your game set to when you die, you like either you drop absolutely everything you have, every, even everything in your hotbar, or you have, um, or you just drop whatever's in your backpack, which is the like, inventory stuff. Or I have it set so you, I don't drop anything. It's just because it's so fun. You try and get back and forth. Um, Going back and forth to, like, get things. Or get, you retrieve your bag. I want to go get the, the, the thing, the box, but the crate's, like, the crate normally has at least, um, like, a row's worth of, row and a half worth of stuff, but it's just not worth it. I mean, I probably could get most of it, but here. I just remember this, so in here. Where is it? Do, 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 do. Okay, I think it's here. Zombies killed. 1169. And then 18 deaths. Don't look at that. I haven't died that many times. I want to get to 10,000. I want to get that many zombie kills in this world. See, I had this horrible, I had this horrible thing of, um, basically, at least when I first start off, and I'm running place, running around places, I stop basically everywhere I see, and so I'm having to decide which things I want over which things. Which causes me to have to drop a lot of things so that I don't have whatever different... Uh, uh, generally, it's just stupid things like iron or like the scrap plastics and stuff. I'm going to stop and crack a book, though, because I do also have it's reset to a reset period on things. Um in this world, and I think it has not hit that yet. I can, okay. Like I said, the, there's a whole bunch of noises that I'm just not used to. Like, that's one of them, the buzzing. From the, I think that was buzzing from either the vending machine or the thing next to it. The coolers next to it. I just don't do them. I, I like watching, I wa like will watch TV or whatever while I'm playing video games. That's part part of the reason why I have a two monitor set up. That's when I, like, before I started doing YouTube, I had a two monitor set up even then because it was just like I have game open on one screen and then I've got a, like, 
TV show or something, YouTube videos open on the other screen. And I'll just sit there and watch TV and play video games at the same time. This is just, it's entertaining. It's, it's fun. That's just something I enjoy doing. I'm going to get back home, though, and, and then this one, because this one's running kind of long. Also, I have to, like, turn my heater down or something, because it is hot in this room. But yeah, there, okay, so, the, these barn, the, this, like, the place I just pa passed, Bob's Boars and Carl's Corn, they, basically everywhere used to be a thing. Every house and stuff used to be there, but not all, they didn't, used to always be labeled. Like that one, it didn't have the names or anything to it, and it, the house and stuff wasn't as complex as it used to be. Because now it goes, like, underground, and there's this several underground chambers and stuff, but... Right. Okay. I put I have a double door system on the front door because it's like, if zombies have to go in that lake, then they can break one door and then they have to go through another one. Um, but I'm all out of time for this one. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.